to the Kent Lap Podcast. Coffee enemas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, oh, by the, the way, I was, we were just talking before we hit record that I was flipping through some of your podcasts, yeah. and they're really great. I enjoyed it. I listened to, I think, two, and then uh, I told you this, but I was having trouble figuring out which ones to listen to because I was scrolling through. You have like 70-plus on there. Yeah. And I'll be like, okay, I want to hear that one. Oh, shoot, I want to hear that one. Oh, there's one on depression. I want to hear that one. There's one on fats. I definitely want to hear that. Um, it was great. But uh, you mentioned that you've talked about Coffee Enemas on your podcast. Yeah, it's my and favorite podcast that we did. What, um, and by the way, what's the name of the podcast? People want to find it. Uh, so it's The Health Majors. The Health Majors. Yeah. So if they search The Health Majors in podcast, they'd be able to find right it. There. Um, and uh, And then we can put a link to. But... Um, so I've heard about coffee enemas, but never tried it. What's the situation? <laughs> so uh, my wife, um, she's dealt with like candida <clears throat> for a while. What is so that? So it's like a, candida is a bacteria. Okay. So it's like a bacterial overgrowth that can cause havoc in your system. So for her, it would like present itself through her skin. So mm. she'd get like these red blotchy spots or kind of dried out spots. And <clears throat> so... She, one of her friends was like, hey, you need to try these coffee enema things. And her, it's really our best friend. She gets mad at me that I say that, but because it was her best friend. They've been best friends since they were eight years old. Oh, okay. Uh, she's a chiropractor as well. Oh, okay. So she's like, hey, you need to try this coffee enema thing. And then they started talking to me about it. I was like, there's no way I'm ever going to do a coffee enema. I'm never sticking anything up my butt. Sorry, not going to happen. <laughs> And uh, so my wife started doing them, and it really started helping because uh, it, what it does is it helps clean out your gallbladder and your liver. Like, it'll help pull out some of the toxins, and you just expel it mm. into the toilet. So finally, I was like, I'm, I just got to try this thing out. So I had done, <clears throat> <laughs> I did a 21-day water fast uh, in chiropractic school, and like... All, all, all you all you ate for 21 days was water? Well, I guess I had a coconut water okay. for lunch. Yeah. Bought a cup of coconut water. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, the rest of it was just water. For 21 days? 21 days. Wow. And uh, so it was like day, like the late teens. And I'm like, you know what? Like my stomach was like just tight. Kind of like in knots, and there's nothing in there, so nothing's coming mm-hmm. out, right? So I was like, I'm gonna try this thing out. So she was gone, nobody was home. So I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> you just couldn't do it when she was there. Yeah, oh, there's no way. <laughs> That's how it has no to way. be for me, too. So, so <laughs> like, I, I get everything ready in the bathroom, and like, I've seen her set everything up, so I'm like, I, I kind of know the deal. And uh, so I'm in the bathroom, and I start doing this thing, like, literally. I don't know, seconds within me getting any type of coffee inside of my system. And like the bucket's high, so it's like rushing in. I just didn't understand the whole deal about that. But so all of this coffee floods my system (laughs) and uh, I couldn't hold it. Wow. And I'm like, I'm not making it to the toilet. Or you're in the bathroom already though. In the bathroom. But I'm on the floor like kind of curled in a ball Okay. Trying to get this thing to go inside. (laughs) And I'm like, this isn't happening. There's no way. So basically, I just jumped, turned, and sprayed the entire shower. Just no. (laughs) (laughs) And the thing is, there like wasn't anything in my system. So it was all these like little tiny like poop pellets. Oh. Just like oh man. So it was uh, it was the gnarliest thing ever. So oh, it took me did a while. You, and you had to clean it up. I, I had assume. To clean, yeah. Oh, That's that what is probably took awful. The longest. Oh, I don't. Uh, it's still, in some ways, still better than throw up. It seems a little bit. Oh, yeah. dude, I can't handle uh, vomit. It's it's uh, it's, it's, it's awful. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can't imagine that was much better. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of like vomit for your <laughs> for your rear for your butt. Um, <laughs> what is so an enema, I understand, basically you're sticking something in your butt. Now a coffee enema, what is this? Is this is this hot coffee? Is this coffee beans? What what? So what, it's what's the system? So it's a really how do you do it? Uh, for it's got to be organic, like no no pesticides, because coffee is one of the most pesticide laden crops mm-hmm. in the world. So you got to make sure that it's like the cleanest coffee you can get, and then you basically you just make coffee. 
Um, so you'll fill a, a pot of water, let it boil for about five minutes. I like to met, let mine like uh, simmer for 10 or 15, and then you transfer it to the bucket once it's cooled down a little bit. And then my wife will add like ice cubes to it so she can do it faster. Uh, hmm. She's usually on time crunch. Mm-hmm. Um, and then so the, the that's it. You put that coffee brewed coffee you strain it obviously make sure you don't yeah. have any grounds and then that's what you use for the, the enema and what it does is it excites the walls yes. of your intestinal lining yeah but then it is able to permeate to through the gallbladder mm-hmm. to allow you to help cleanse out your gallbladder and mm-hmm. then there's other cleanses that we do and fascinating so the coffee when you make the coffee is it the same water grinds mixture that you would if you were just going to drink it so we use, uh, it's 32 ounces of water, and it's like three tablespoons of coffee. 32 ounces of water and three tablespoons of coffee. I'm pretty sure that's the... That's not that much coffee. I don't really uh, measure. That's, okay. I'm just, that's a guesstimate. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't measure anything. <laughs> <laughs> three tablespoon coffee. Obviously organic, non-pesticides. Yeah. You're making it just like you're going to drink it. So I'm just kind of curious. Here's a coffee pot right here, actually. Does this say how many ounces? I mean, this is... That's probably 24. I mean, but you're not putting... Not all at once. Well... You're not putting this much... Coffee? You're not using this much water, are you? Oh, yeah. You're putting this much coffee so up your butt? You do it about eight, eight-ish ounces at a time, eight to 12. So it'll end up being like, and you try to hold it as long as you can. And the long, the more often you do it, the longer your body can hold it. Huh. Um, but that first one, because I didn't have anything in my body except uh, for water. Okay. Right. It was like, my body was like, what's going on? Uh, let's wow. get this out of here. So, so oh, that is so <laughs> much more water than I would have thought. It's so much more, it's more content than I would have, than I was thinking. Oh, you can... I mean, our friend will put 32 and hold it. So, but what's more common is put in eight ounces. Yeah. Expel. Yep. Eight ounces, expel. Yep. And then another eight. Wow. That's a lot, man. So, um, anatomy wise, so you have the large intestine, correct? Mm-hmm. Correct. If you're basically your butt and the large intestine. Yeah. And then small intestine. Yeah. That's about as high as you're going to get. Okay, but where is the gallbladder? So the gallbladder in- sits, it's not in the intestines, it's near the intestines. But that coffee allows your, you expands, so you, inside of your intestines you have like these little grooves, right? Mm-hmm. So what it'll do is it helps open those up, and that's how like, um, she was just on your show, she was talking about... Jamie Aurora? Yes. Yeah. So leaky gut. Right. Right? Yeah. So when leaky gut... The walls already got massive holes, right? Yes. Basically just punched yes. in it from all the garbage that we eat. Yep. So what we're trying to do is expand that. Okay. And then allow the coffee to exit and it'll get in and it just excites the gallbladder. Mm. And literally it just start to like squeeze and then it'll push out hmm. the excess gunk. Interesting. Now the liver is attached to the intestines, right? It goes liver and then the small intestine and the large intestine? No. Or- no? But the liver does process everything yes. we drink, correct? How- Through the bloodstream. So it's not directly like it doesn't. Gotcha. Okay. Food doesn't go through the liver. <laughs> now we know why I'm not a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> you had me questioning for a second. I'm like, wait a minute. Okay. Wait, just that. Oh, food does not go through the liver. No. Okay. Blood. Gotcha. I see. Okay. So big, big blocks is stomach, small intestine, large intestine. Yeah. Um, and the coffee enema is expelling things in your large intestine, mm-hmm. gallbladder, and liver. It'll pull from the liver, yeah. And, and It'll pull help from the liver. liver. Jumpstart the liver. And what specifically would you be after with that? What's the case for coffee enemas? Is there a particular use or just uh, as a cleanse? It's more or? of a cleanse. Okay. Um, my wife will tell you a lot more about it. There's, mm-hmm. I mean, she like she'll recommend it to certain people, mm-hmm. specifically like digestive stuff. If okay. somebody's got like IBS or some mm. kind of 
even leaky gut. Mm-hmm. Um, basically, what you're trying to do is cleanse it, pull everything out, mm-hmm. and then rebuild from there. 